We got, uh, we got Ichiban walking shirtless with his bat into the storm. Good stuff. Uh, I know you can't hear anything. That's because I'm alt tabbed out. I'm looking at my thing. Did that change? Good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I, I definitely got enough sleep last night. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Actually incorrect. Alright, we're walking into the Seryu clan's HQ right in the front door. It's gonna be great. I'm sure it's gonna work out for us. Uh because I'm just a really upbeat guy. You know. Mobsters they like it when you're just a nice dude. All right. Hey. And this definitely won't be a trap set up by this guy. Okay. Aha. Nuclear winter. How are you? I'm trying to beat Yakuza like a dragon. It's not going to happen, but you know. Uh, I don't see any guards. That's because no one is stupid enough to try and raid the Serial Clan. Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for, thanks for hopping in while you're at the gym, dude. You set us up. We never grant entry to anyone from other factions. That gate drops like a cattle chute if someone walks through without giving the correct signal. Then... We take our time with the slaughter. Whatever their rank may be in their own herds, we don't give a shit. Where's the chairman? Upper floor somewhere? Perhaps. You'll never reach him. Oh, I dang. I won't let you get anywhere near his office. Oh, I was really hoping you'd seen the light. Guess we're back to using brute force, boys. I tell you, never a dull day with Ichiban. Better put us in their wills for this. Bring it. I believe in you, dude. You can do it. Huh. Don't get Why not? I'll just fearless command. Big ol' attack boost. Pigeon raid him. Watch this. <laughs> Dude, he was weak to pigeons. I'm real excited for um, uh, infinite wealth because you can reposition yourself on the battlefield um, so you can kind of reposition yourself to where you'll use uh, things around the battlefield to beat people up with Gala you're here hello we just walked in the front door of the Seryu clan HQ <laughs> because that was a super smart idea all right well um, I'll, I'll catch you probably tomorrow, dog. Uh, have fun with all your things that you're doing at gym and elsewhere. You gotta be kidding me! How are we supposed to get through? Well, standing around won't solve anything. Let's find another way around. All right. I'm gonna pick up the shiny item on the ground. It was just a rock. Electricity is cut off to the elevator. Here we go. A normal looking door. How'd you guys get in here? Did you jump from a higher floor? Damn, the other 
door's locked. This is a dead end. This should hold it. Damn, who leaves? I guess. I guess Yakuza don't have a lot of time to clean, but like, who leaves a broom in the middle of an empty hallway? Oh yeah. Yep, Cle cleaning lady. Got the axe. Oh dang, I thought we solid snaked him, but a little different. Yeah, I guess so. Hey. You're good, Namba. Coast is clear. Oh. Namba solid snaked him. Yeah, dude. Hmm, now what? Listen. Should we try the corridor that connects above us? Maybe we can get to the chairman's room by going up the left side. Yeah, kind of roundabout, but it'll work. Seems like the Seryu clan members unlocked the doors for us, too. Hold on. Hold up. Security might be tighter that way. Let's see if we can enter from that o door over there first. non non Nanma. <laughs> oh, a mysterious mushroom growing outside. Sweet. That'll look great in my inventory. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I've been waiting for you, gentlemen. Get rid of them. You have a much deeper voice than I thought you would, but okay. Listen, I can't not pigeon raid people. Even in buildings, it's so good. Ah, yes, and your party members can also follow up uh, attacks that don't KO enemies. Um, there's a lot of nuances to the battle system that uh, I'm skipping. Be easier for them if they all ganged up on us. Nobody climbs the corporate ladder in a group, criminals included. Huh. No wonder I've never been promoted. Should I open it? Sweet. It's a pretty good explanation for why you only fight a few people at a time. Oh, this is just back outside. Come back in. Come back in. Just made him open the door and forced him through it. Solid. Ugh. Okay. I don't... You know what? I'm just gonna follow the marker. This isn't a real door. I should stop getting distracted by all these shiny objects that mean almost nothing to me right now. But what if they're... a stat booster? Although there's no, um... like... ambush attack kind of stuff. Oh my god, dude. Hell yeah. I uh, gotta love fighting in a crowded building. Lots of stuff to pick up. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no way to ambush or anything like that in this either. Um... Kind of makes it so you go into each fight with more or less, more or less equal footing to the enemies. 
Because they can't ambush you either. Well, you look like you're gonna fucking counter my stuff. But you can't counter the pigeons. Ah, yep. He's got the guard. Let's see, where's... Uh... I got this. I know... You wanna fight? Desperate... Is it beatdown? No, I don't think it is. But I'm gonna try it anyway, why not? Your rage subsided already? Or, 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 Come on now. Yeah. or, <sighs> <Hell yeah. laughs> all these useless items will look great on the shelf with all my other useless items. I don't even know where I'm going. Which way are we going? Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hang on. I'll get you out of this. Did each one have my exact reaction? <laughs> Hold on, Elba. I got you. Just a little more. Bro, what about Adachi? He's just in there with that dude. A goner. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you're the grappler of the group. You said it. Does this mean we have to climb back up? Seems like it. Let's look for another way. Dude, each each has got the wicked jumps. All right. Get him out of here. Also, um, sometimes if you attack someone that's behind someone else with just a basic attack, uh, the other person will actually block and counter you um, before you can get your attack off on the person that's further behind him. Um, that guy was... A little behind the other guy, but they were close enough together that it didn't matter that much. Is there an item here? Looks like it's locked. Well, I never come back here. What? Uh, weird. Weird that that would have an I arrow pointing to it. Scurrying around. Time to get exterminated. Oh, it's a rat pun. Oh. Yeah, block that, nerd. You're in it now. Damn, he didn't block anything. Dude sucks. You have a crossbow? Christ, man. Calm down. Oh, well, if he dropped something, is it his katana? That'd be sick. Hmm? Oh, key. 
Oh, der. Well, there it is, dude. There it is. The iron door that had the arrow pointing to it has has uh it, its in, its purpose is revealed. I thought there was something weird with this. Oh well. Not like I can remember. Wait, this is the wrong... Went to the wrong spot. It's fine. P please. Ich Ichiban. Ichiban. Come on. Should I open it? Yes. <laughs> also, um, there's a lot of keys in the game, uh, for... Uh, silver and I believe gold chests um, normally you would actually be using a key each time but I think uh, I have a yeah silver safe skeleton key it just opens them all um, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, at least for the silver safes tons of karaoke tracks um, yeah What? Aha! Blueprints! Hmm? Hey! Some sort of blueprint for this facility. That's interesting. There's a ladder icon at the edge here. Looks like it connects with the room where we found the key, but I don't remember seeing a door. Maybe it's hidden. This building is a goddamn fortress, so a hidden passage wouldn't even surprise me. Yeah. That's gotta be it. Let's hurry back to that room and check it out. Oh. Should I open it? Sweet. Man. Yeah, this part was actually rough. I think I don't I don't think I lost very often in this game. Um but it it did get to the point where I was like, eh I should be here uh, a couple of times. Oh. Oh yeah, right on the helmet there. You're right. Casca, press it. Uh, sure. Here goes. Seriously? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Alright, now we can go up. Oh, let's hit the ladder, dude. Probably because he just fucking... Beamed a chair, dude. Right, that's a ladder down. I could see what the ladder down holds, though. Oh, another silver safe with an item that doesn't matter to me. A jacket. It's so hard to break free of gathering up everything that isn't nailed down. Let me get, let me get to the thing. Table, you're fucking me. Should I open it? Sweet. Back again, huh? So this is where we are. Wait, we, we've been here already? Hmm. Should I open it? Got it. Sorry, I interrupted you. This place looks safe enough. Why don't we take a breather? <laughs> All right, Adachi, calm down. Calm down.
breather done. Oh, this looks like a nice big door. Hey, I think we made it through. Such a pain in the ass. We just want to see the chairman out of the way. You made it this far, and that's far enough. They're still standing after all that? Long time no see. This time will be different. Three of us together are unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> then it's unstoppable trio against unstoppable trio. Come on, Nanba Hadachi san. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be cool. Alright. Let's just hit Essence a full swing, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, and one is still standing. Even though I'm almost 75 against a 13. The pigeons finish him off, dude. One nice thing about, um... Uh, None, but a lot of the mage characters is when they normal attack, they get their MP back. Yeah. How the likes of you learn to fight like that? Who are you? We're employees from your place of business, Odohime Land. You're from our own soap land. We were helping Nanoha Mukoda, a woman who works there. Sucking money out of her while keeping her dad prisoner in the old folks' home. I told you, we're doing what needs to be done. I've heard all that already, and it's bullshit. You can't just twist the Yakuza code to suit yourself. That's being a fucking prick. Stop this. Ooh, Ryuhei Hoshino. Boss! Totsuka, what's happening here? Uh, there was a dispute on our turf, and so... You look like hitmen to me. Are you Yakuza? We're not hitmen. We came with a request for the chairman. A request? About Totsuka's business operation. Some like castle? Could we have a bit of your time? How can I be sure you won't try to kill me? Frisk us if you want. We're unarmed. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? This guy had a strange looking bill on him. <sighs> yeah, I've had that for a while. No idea where it came from, though. Someone just put it in my pocket at some point. <sighs> what should we do? Nothing. It's just play money. You sure you don't want to tie a string around it? Hurts like a bitch if you don't. I suppose you would know, wouldn't you? Of course, after you made me lose two of them. Oh, he's got the he got the gloves on, man. You know when they got the gloves on. Just give me the knife already, Captain. It's natural that society wants to avoid seeing its own underbelly. But luckily for those who refuse to look, I've taken many risks to protect them from the Komi Jewel. I've protected them from the Chinese faction as well. Yeah, I don't know everything about it, but I figured it was the Seiryu clan keeping it all balanced. The balance is starting to crumble. It 
must be said that in any faction, the men operate businesses unknown to the boss. But I'm hearing that some have gone so low as to extort money from the homeless. Yeah, that's the Yokohama Leomom. I got plenty of personal experience with that. I see. And as for Totsuka, I never thought he would keep such a large business secret. Thank you for telling me. I knew of its existence, of course. And I was glad Totsuka was the director. Our clan bought that building 30 years ago. It was crumbling. Some wanted it demolished. Others wanted to make it a historic landmark. I settled the issue. I said it should be turned into a retirement home run by Totska. I trusted him completely. I never knew he was running another type of business on the top floor. It was still in the exploratory phase. I... I was gonna tell you about it once it became a viable business. It's gross that you're even calling it a business. Sherman, the whole operation is just wrong. You gotta do something. The people there need to be let out. Mm. Kasuga, was it? Yes, sir. I think you have the wrong idea here. Sorry? I appreciate you telling me about Totska's secret business. But I have no need or desire for your opinion. But he's murdering innocent people. Misfortune is often a side effect of profit. One's happiness might be purchased with another's unhappiness. To a certain extent, that is unavoidable in our line of work. <laughs> Agreed, boss. With that logic, you could justify anything, no matter how dishonorable. Totska. I'd like to hear your own description of what happens on the top floor. The excellent course offers a smooth and painless transition out of this life. It's compassionate euthanasia. Euthanasia? That's bullshit! I saw it happen! You murdered the woman who was in a wheelchair! Euthanasia is a painless release given to those who need it. That woman in the wheelchair left this world peacefully. You should realize... Sometimes it's not the patient who wants it, but the family. Oh, yeah. What about Nanoha's dad? Perfect example. She wanted us to dispatch her father. Liar! What do you know about it? I met with her myself, and she approved it. That can't be true. <laughs> Consider this your lesson about certain realities in this world. Anyway. Done playing teacher. Totska, <laughs> sir, put it down. I don't need your finger. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. But that doesn't mean that I approve of this little side business you were running. Therefore... Takami! Understood. Boys, take him out of here. What? Who? Oh. What'll happen if he ever sets foot in here again? Damn. No, it's... Chairman! Chairman! Banishment. Kasuga. A Yakuza cannot be judged merely by society's standards of what is right and wrong. Our reputation is everything. But we cannot preserve our reputation if we allow civilians like you to trespass. Don't fool yourself into thinking you did something brave today. The 
truth is, your actions have disgraced me and the Seiryu clan. I want that knowledge to weigh heavy on your heart. As scared as I should be right now, I'm super into it, Chairman. That was awesome. <laughs> I was starting to think that during the 18 years I spent in prison, the type of Yakuza I admired went extinct. But you're one of them. You're the old school kind of Yakuza. The kind I've always believed in, and always will. I see. I'm glad such a thing is still appreciated. I must admit, I find myself wondering... What kind of Yakuza raised you like that? You're asking about my patriarch? Hmm. He was the type of guy who would show up to rescue a dumbass kid who dropped his name just to get out of trouble. Even a kid he never met. He cut off his own finger for the family name. Right. Let's go home. Wait. I'm curious. What was the name of this patriarch? Masumi Arakawa, of the Arakawa family. Ex Tojo clan. Arakawa. Yep. Although, when I went to find him the other day, he did put a bullet in me. <laughs> I guess I should probably take the hint. But he can't take away all the lessons I learned from him. To me, he's still the way a man ought to be. Arakawa. I'll remember that. All right, successful meeting with the Seiryu clan, along with a deep and meaningful conversation with uh, with their chairman. Well, guess we should head back to the soap land. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, that was a shocker. Anoha agreed to the euthanasia. I guess you never know for sure what people really want. <sighs> hey, just a minute, please. Need something, Captain? Come to Sunlight Castle with me. I'm having Nanoha meet us there. What? Why? Just do it. I mean, fair. I wish I could read that plaque on the wall. Yes? We talked on the phone. I'm Takabe, the general manager. Um, where's Totsuka-san? He had some urgent business and couldn't be here, so I'm filling in. I see. I apologize for how sudden this is, but we're closing our institution. You're closing? Yeah. As such, we won't be able to continue caring for your father. We're terribly sorry, but you'll have to make other arrangements for him. But the... the operation, wasn't that scheduled for today? It's been cancelled. We deeply apologize and ask for your understanding. Cancelled? But if he doesn't get that operation, he'll die! Huh? Uh, hold up. What did you just say? They said he'll die without the surgery. Ooh. Uh, just double checking. But is that what you paid Totska for last time you met? What did you two talk about? 
Um, at the meeting, we... Somehow I scraped together two million yen. But can I finish paying later? Maybe we don't even have to do the surgery that soon. I'm worried he's still too weak for it. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts now. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. Now you're cheaping out on him? No, please don't say that. Of course I want Dad to have peace in his golden years. I don't want him in pain, but... Does it have to be so expensive? I'm afraid it does. Given the delicate nature of the task, there may be complications. Don't you see the need for finesse? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's never had an operation. Oh. <laughs> First timer, huh? Hey, if we can laugh about it, it must not be that bad, right? Huh? Uh, I guess. So she had no idea. It seems not. She thought the operation was a life-saving procedure. Damn, we barely got to him in time. Nanohasa, let me assure you, the operation is no longer necessary. Sorry? Your father was examined again, and doctors concluded the previous diagnosis was incorrect. <gasps> oh, really? Yes. Therefore, we are returning this payment to you immediately. We realize how inconvenient our closure is to you. So, all money paid towards care after today's date will be refunded. But, what do I do now? When does he have to move out? Please, don't worry. There will be no forced relocations. As I said, we realize how inconvenient this is for you. Your father may stay here free of charge until you make other arrangements. Are you serious? Finally, some actual fairness. This was by order of the chairman. I'm glad to hear that. Real glad. So... Who was it who said she was in trouble again? Leave it alone. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> yeah, so much for detectives hunches. I'll get wrecked, Adachi. Hey, Adachi's mistake led to her dad's survival, so there. Let's just be grateful for our luck. I'll trust you all to iron out whatever you need to. Yeah, we're good. Hmm. Hey, bit of advice. You should put that away. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, you dumb son of a bitch. That lot of cash. Maybe you can afford to work at a nicer place, you know? Sorry? We were hired to work at Otohime Land while you were out. You were only working there so you could fund your dad's care, right? Oh. Yes. You don't even have to go back. We'll tell the boss you quit if you like. Oh, and we'll get you any back pay you're owed. Really? Oh, that'd be great, actually. No worries. Go on and see your dad. I'm sure he's gonna flip when he sees you. Thank you. You know, seeing that smile, I can see why she was their most popular girl. Such a ladies' man, aren't you? Okay, let's go report to the boss. Going back to the soap land, baby. We still have a job to do. Call a fuck. I got mail. Oh, it's Sujimon Sensei. Call a taxi because I'm not fucking walking. Still got lots of money, and I know the minigame to make more. 
Although I don't have it yet. That's fine. Ugh. Orohime land. These guys are weird, but I don't have time for your side story. Hey, boss. We're back. It got pretty crazy back there. But you know what? I think we're out of a job, dude. Woo, baby, chapter five, the Lu the, the Leomong man. Doing good, doing good. I mean, not really good, but like, we're, we're, we're making progress. Nonomiya really didn't seem the type to kill himself. <sighs> yeah, I hear you on that one. I would have jumped on that place no matter how big a loan I needed. Seriously, it's a gold mine. The guy was sitting on a mountain of cash and he just threw himself off. <sighs> Classy group. Talking this way at a funeral. Money does things to people. They know a soap land can be a ticket to riches. You can't just start one just by submitting some paperwork? It's gotten a lot stricter. A new soap land has to be more than 200 meters from any school, hospital, or library. There's no downtown real estate that meets that criteria. Not a single lot. So, functionally, it's impossible to open a new soap land. What about the old ones that have been around forever? They got grandfathered in. So Nonomiya's death is another precious soap land down the drain. It didn't have to be. He could have sold it and made a huge profit just like those guys said. I really don't understand why he did himself in. Me neither. There must have been something terrible going on. Something even worse than Nanoha's situation. I think he was more of a sensitive guy than he ever let on. <sighs> Excuse me, sensitive? I don't know about that. Nano Hassan? Is that you? Whoa, look at her. She, she's feeling a lot better now. No more stress about her dad. And she went shopping. Yeah, she looked great. Pretty sexy. <laughs> Shut up! She's here to pay her respects, you moron. Grow the fuck up! No, no, My son. god, Nanba. You should know <laughs> that we are the ones who found him. I mean, we were just heading back to the shop, expecting to find him there, but uh, he'd already... He'd already hung himself. Um, yeah. I heard you guys just now saying he was sensitive. Come on, we all know he wasn't the greatest guy. And he was selfish, too. But that's why I think there's no way he killed himself. Damn, Nano Hassan. I know you're still going through a lot, but is this really the time to trash the guy? Don't lecture me like that. You don't even know me. Not wrong. don't 
I'm Saeko. All right, so is Saeko your nickname or something? I don't get it. No, I'm saying that you and I have never met before, okay? Do you get it now, Gramps? Oh my god. Gramps? Come on, Nanoha. Okay, you obviously don't get it. Maybe Four Eyes over there can figure it out? Gramps and Four Eyes, dude. No, I can't say I get it at all. Well, the simple answer is they're twins, right? We have a winner. You're smarter than you look back there. Yeah, I'm not a husband. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Ichiban, uh, he got it. Nanoha's twin. Do you have the same, you know, job as she does? I'm not for sale, if that's what you're asking. I'm a bartender at a cabaret club that Nonomiya owned, actually. Jeez, he owned a cabaret club and a soap land? Yeah, he may not have looked it, but he was actually one of the top dogs in Eugene Cho's red light district. Now that he's gone, I guess both my club and Orohime land are probably going to shut down. Was it just a coincidence that you and your sister both worked in his establishments? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's crazy, but I didn't even know that Nanoha was working at... You know, at his brothel. You didn't know? I had no idea. I only found out a few days ago. I still don't understand. If I'd known she needed money to take care of her dad, I'd have gladly given her some. How could you not know? I mean, your sisters, aren't you? Well, what gives? You might say we had a complicated relationship. See, I left home when I was young, and I never looked back. You just cut your family off? That was how it had to be. But I had no idea my sister was working at Otohime Land. I mean, Nonomiya had to know the two of you were related. I'm sure he did. It's obvious we're twins. And apparently, he actually did tell Nanoha that I was working at his cabaret club. But she... She asked him to keep her job a secret from me, no matter what. Well, not a real surprise, seeing as you were estranged. Then a few days ago, Nonomiya called me, sounding really worried. He said my sister and dad were in a tight spot. That they were trapped in some kind of Yakuza scheme. That must have been a scary way to find out about the trouble your sister was in. Yeah, it was. Like I said, we haven't talked in years. And now, I'm really worried. I mean, Nonomiya broke his promise to her by telling me she works for him. So Dad and Nanoha must be in really deep trouble. They were, but it's all good now. No need to worry. No need to worry? Wait, are you the ones who helped my family? That would make you Kasuga-san, Adachi-san, and Nanba-san. I owe you guys so much. And you knew our names this whole time? You do realize your family's alive because of us? Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I really am grateful. Thank you. It seems like you haven't talked to Nanoha-san about any of this. No, I haven't. And I feel like... It might be better if I just keep pretending I don't know about it. Hey, I just thought of something important. When Nonomiya told you about your sister... Did you say it was by phone? Yeah. Huh. Well, that would be pretty damn close to the moment he hung himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for real, dude. Coming up. Later on, I realized that phone call ended just moments before he died. Whoa. That's what I was trying to tell you before. That phone call is why I know there's no way he committed suicide. So, wait. What exactly did he say to you? It's like watching a, a really long movie what? or a show. Two of your employees doing that? Basically, the home your sister put your dad in, it's a racket run by the Seiryu clan. They're threatening to kill your father if she doesn't pay them. Wait, are you serious? And did you just say Nanoha is working at your soap land? Why didn't you tell me before? I'm sorry. She 
asked me not to. I feel like shit for ratting on her, even now. But at this point, the secret's kind of out. Okay, just let me think. First of all, are they seriously asking for all that money in one lump sum? I don't have that kind of cash. I guess I could ask around. We don't have time to try and raise money. We just have to put our faith in these new guys I hired. Or maybe they'll pull a miracle out of their ass. You know, Psycho? I think they might actually do it. Why do you think that? Who are these guys, anyway? They're like, uh, well, it's a bum, an ex Yakuza, and an ex detective. Oh my gosh. I know it sounds shady, but they're good guys. Tough, too. They're risking their lives for Nanoha. Is the ex Yakuza that Kasuga san you mentioned before? Yeah. He hasn't let me down so far. Huh? Uh, ho hold on, I heard something. Oh, is it a customer? Yeah, probably. Uh, hold on, hon. Hello? Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? Whoa, hey, hold on! Stop! Don't get barking! Boss? Stop! Stop! Boss? Loma! Loma! I'm the Julia! Loma! Oh, the conspiracy's afoot. was the last time you spoke with him? Yeah. What happened at the end there? I don't know. The voices sounded angry. I think they were speaking Chinese. And this is how you know it wasn't a suicide? Yeah. But if these Chinese guys killed him, why'd they try to make it look like a suicide? Well, I don't want to find out. Let's just tell the police about this. I already did. I got interviewed by a detective who found my number in Nonomiya's call history. I told him everything I just told you. So then why are they still calling it a suicide? I don't know. But I'll tell you a really weird thing. The detective asked about the Chinese words, so I repeated them. Then he just packed up and left. Really? Well, let's hear the Chinese. Sure. I can tell you what I heard, but I don't know what it means. But I do know the words were definitely Laoma, Laoma. Laoma? What's that? I just told you I have no idea. But I do. Really? Laoma is a nickname for one of the bosses in the Yokohama Leomon. One of their bosses? You're sure? Yeah. His real name is Mabuchi. That's so weird. Why would they be shouting his nickname like Maybe it was his guys who busted into Nonomiya's room to attack him. They might have been calling to Mabuchi because they'd found Nonomiya. You're trying to imply Mabuchi's behind the murder? But he was on Siryu clan turf. The Ejing Three don't attack on each other's land. They don't. So if that pact's been broken, anything could happen now. Why did the police ignore what Saigo told them? They Maybe made the, the Great Wall of Muscle. Didn't know what Laoma meant. No. I think it's the opposite. He stopped the investigation because he knew exactly what it meant. You mean he was scared? Not so much scared as loyal. Every detective in Ijincho knows who Lao Ma is. He owns them, really. What? He bribed all of them? He pays for a lot of their important family events. Coming of age parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Sends money to their kids, too. He takes care of them. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Mabuchi, with all these detectives on his payroll, has basically bought access to all their personal information. He's got his personal herd of cop cattle. Yep. And milks them whenever he wants. The police are helpless before the Great Wall. And they know it, too. So don't go expecting them to do any real investigations where Mabuchi is involved. Hey, we're forgetting an important question. Why would Mabuchi kill Nonomiya? Yeah, doesn't seem like it was robbery. <laughs> Look.
look at these. It was rare that Nonomiya broke out the full house bonuses. But he got them for us. He trusted us. Saiko, thanks for telling us what you heard over the phone. I know it'll help. You know, it's really sad. Mm -hmm. How I never even realized someone was worrying about me like he was. He worked so hard all those years. Only for things to end up like this. <clears throat> I never got along with my dad or my sister. We were always fighting. My mom did the best she could to keep the family together. And it almost worked. But after she died, I just wanted out. Thing is, for all his flaws, Nonomiya is the one who gave me a real home. Even when he knew I had abandoned my family. But I kept saying he was garbage. I was so mean to him right up until the end. I never thanked him for what he did. Not even once. I mean... I never thought he could just be gone all of a sudden, you know? All my life, I felt pretty alone. But I thought at least I was free. Now I'm starting to realize that I was kidding myself. Because I wasn't actually alone. And to be honest, I wasn't even that free. <laughs> it feels more like the people around me were suffocating me. Even Nonomiya. Look, I know you must have felt like he was suffocating you, but... If you ask me... That sounds like every other family I've ever come across. It's so frustrating, because it's like... Nonomiya doesn't deserve my tears. He was a dirty, grass old man. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that... that nobody should care that the police can write him off. I mean, it's their job to do something, but they're acting like it's just another suicide. That's not right. <sighs> I can't do anything. Not by myself. Adachi's just trying to hold but it together, dude. Before Nonomiya died, he told me about how you three were so much to help my sister and my dad. And I just... <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you came here to find us. <laughs> okay. Okay, my ass. What, are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. <laughs> So, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of? My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that settles it. Sachan. Let's do this together. That work for you? From here on out, you don't have to feel alone anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Got a new party member, babies! Woo! Ugh. Psycho.
Mako Makota. Join the party. And my controller DC. That's fun. I didn't even notice. We went through a lot of cutscenes there that I wasn't paying attention to my controller for. Alright. Come on, reconnect, please. Please reconnect. There we go. We got it. Sup? Odachi son, do you know where Mabuchi's hideout is? <laughs> The Lumong are still Mafia, so just like the Yakuza, they're not gonna just plaster their name on an office. On top of that, Mabuchi's a cautious bastard. Word is he doesn't even take meetings. Hmm. So, we don't have any leads? <sighs> no. I wouldn't say that. You know Restaurant Row, just north of here? It's where the Lumong are known to hang out. Hmm? Like a little Chinatown? It's more Chinatown than Chinatown, really. Mabuchi's gotta be hiding somewhere along Restaurant Row. Then let's head over there and ask around. Yeah. I was starting to get hungry anyway. Hey. Don't tell me we're going down there to grab food. Why not? Adachi san said this is the real Chinatown, so it's gotta be good. Uh. You'll see when we get there. <laughs> yeah, controller. Get it together. Can I change my damn jobs yet? <laughs> that would be sweet. Be real swell, actually. Man, getting different jobs takes longer than I ever thought. Here we are, restaurant row. Hey, somebody help! Huh? Just shut up and hand over your wallet. Oh, is that uh, Inosuke? Inosuke's voice actor. It sounds like he plays. Hey, feels like he plays a lot of. Anything better to do with your lives? Feels like he plays a lot of uh. Who the fuck are you? Auxiliary characters in this. Perfect timing. You're with parttimehero.com, right? Parttime hero. Uh, Lost me. I don't know what your problem is, but if you're trying to be a hero, your ass is going down. Dustin, man, you look weak. Cool. Lead him down. Oh, I should have equipped her with a ton of ridiculous stuff. It's okay, she didn't get to attack anyway. Man, you really kicked ass back there. Thanks, parttimehero.com. Hell yeah. Still don't know what this hero thing you're talking about is. What? You mean, part-time hero didn't send you? Da -da -da -da. Never fear. Part-time hero is here. Huh? So this year's our bad guy, huh? Just look at him. Yep. Oh. Got the classic thug tells. My hungry gaze or life outfit. What is it with that hair? Looks like he set off a bomb in front of his face. Oh my god. Actually, this guy right here, he... Say not another word. For the glory of part-time heroes everywhere, I will vanquish this villain post haste. Now put up your dupes. I'm no stranger to fisticuffs. Oh my god. Damn, he hit first? Dude's crazy. And he blocked. Pigeon raid, go! Hell yeah. Guy from Part Time Hero was defeated. That's right, dude. A true hero. It's my job. You're no ordinary thug. Block these 
Birds casual. Hell, oh, man. <laughs> He's right. This guy here, he rescued me just now. He rescued you? What are you trying to say? You can't block all these pigeons. Eat breadcrumbs, nerd. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so it was all just a big misunderstanding. Sorry about that. I can't do much in the way of an apology, but I'd be happy to treat you to some tea or what have you. How's that make up for anything? <laughs> I went through two fights just now. You know what? You're right. I beg your pardon. Maybe I should introduce myself. I'm the president of Part Time Hero Incorporated. Please call me Hero. Fun oh fact. I named this company both after myself and the concept of a hero. <laughs> so clever, I know. Okay, I'll ask again. What is this part-time hero thing? Uh, <laughs> Parttimehero.com offers a revolutionary service that puts you in touch with a hero, all from the comfort of your smartphone. It puts you in touch with a hero? That's what we call you when you register. You'll be taking on quests that people in need pose. Upon accepting, it's your job to dash onto the scene and save the day. The concept is, well, it's an odd job service anyone can use. Uh, and it doesn't take much to start. You could choose to find pets or people if you'd rather stay out of trouble. I promise, it's rewarding work. Huh. I gotta ask, though. Why make this service if there are already others like it? What sets you guys apart? Well... What really sets us apart? Uh, it's our mission to clean up the town, stopping trouble before it starts. So it's like bounty hunting then? In a way, yes. What you did just now, fighting off those thugs, that was actually a quest posted by a client. Ijincho, as you know, has an exorbitantly high crime rate. That's why I started this thing up. And what do you know? <laughs> it works. What do you know? Sense. Now I know why that guy thought I was all part-time heroed out. Well, that's another thing. The fact that there are still good, honest people like you out there, it reassures me. I'd say you're one of the few real heroes left in the world. Yeah, all I did was punch a guy who would start to piss me off. Anyway, see ya. Wait, 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 please, just a minute. What now? Well, if it's not too much to ask, would you be willing to work for me, as a part-time hero? So you want me as your muscle? Is that it? Essentially. We've been getting rave reviews, so we always have an influx of new quests. But since true heroes are in short supply, it means we're short-staffed. The biggest struggle is finding someone capable of actually winning a fight. Since these heroes are rare, a lot of our clients are still in desperate need of help. Does he ever take the helmet off? This city is full of crime. People just don't know what's waiting for them out there. Believe me, I want to help as much as I can. But I'm only one man. And that's where I come in, huh? You've got more than what it takes. Above all, you look out for the little guy. And let no evil go unpunished. We need people like you. At my company and on the streets. You'll receive compensation, of course. It's a job that feels satisfying and pays well. So what do you say? Will you keep this city safe for all of us? Doesn't sound like such a bad gig. Plus I get paid. Might as well give it all a try. Right, sign me up. Not sure how much help I can be, but why the hell not? That's what I like to hear. Okay then. Let's rescue this city together. Looking forward to it. Oh. And I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san! Got it. Then allow me to fill you in on the details. Part-time hero quest. Da, 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 da. It's, a bunch of, it's a bunch of side quests that you do, and you get some rewards, and you get some money. Challenge quests. All that stuff. It. Now get out uh, there it's a giant day, extra giant on. extra task list. Uh, I like where this is going. For doing You're miscellaneous side cash. quest stuff. And it's nice being called a hero. 
They're they're a little smaller than sub stories, but uh, yeah. There's a lot to do in this game, dude. A lot of stuff. It's fucking crazy. Okay, and back to um. Dang, I just oh. Is it gonna list all of these off? All of these that I've already done? Okay, good. It's not. It's not gonna do that. Excellent. Okay, we made it to Restaurant Row. This just looks like a friendly place. Oh, this isn't exactly what I pictured. The image I've always had of Yokohama is kind of loud and flashy, like Chinatown. Shut it, Ichiban. Huh? You moron. Huh? Whoa, what brought up your asses all of a sudden? Don't even mention Chinatown around here. Huh? The Chinatown you're thinking of is basically a tourist attraction on the other side of the station. The people living here are the ones who got driven out of that area a long time ago. <sighs> So, you're saying there was a turf war in Chinatown? What are they, Yakuza? Okay. The truth isn't far off. After the war, Chinatown was still raking it in, while the Chinese living here were scavenging for scraps. The gap was so drastic, they felt they deserved to be in on the action, even if they had to take it by force. But, that didn't exactly work out. That grudge has simmered for all those years, and to this day, it's the backbone of the Yokohama Liamung. Wow. Jeez. The people living here are basically the descendants of the ones who got run out of Chinatown. They lost the war, but they had nowhere to go. So talking like a dumbass is going to make even the Commonwealth glare at you, not to mention the Leomon. Okay. I got it. I'll keep my mouth shut about Chinatown. Yo. Just remember, we're on Leomon turf now. Don't let on that we're trying to catch Mabuchi. Start with some small talk so no one gets suspicious. And when you see the opportunity to ask about Mabuchi, go for it. We clear? It. Okay. Well, let's make some small talk. <laughs> With this old lady. Wow, this town's so scenic. Scenic? Yeah. The buildings have that old school feel to them. I bet I could get some pretty sweet pics. Not to be rude, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. You start wandering around restaurant row with a camera. Is that bad? You saying someone rough might pop out? And by that you wouldn't happen to mean the Yokohama Leomon. And she walks away. Hey, wait! Well, bye, Grandma. I'll go talk to someone cooler. You look cool. Oh, hey, give me that item. A nail. Hey. Good evening. My man, you are totally ripped. Impressive. <laughs> right? Working out every day pays off. And you gotta be tough in my line of work. So you, uh, work behind the scenes. Uh. Yeah, that's right. But if you're in restaurant row, that would mean you're... Leo? I'm, theater, I'm a theater stagehand. <laughs> People think working backstage is easy, but you gotta be pretty fit to do all that heavy lifting. Dang. I was gonna guess you were Leomug. Uh -huh. Sorry? This is the Yokohama Leomug's turf, isn't it? Did you happen to know where their boss, Mabuchi, is? Go home, man. Hey, hold on. And I got walked away from twice. Third time's the charm. Let's talk to the small hey. child. Good evening. Hold on. Hey, so which one's better? Bean paste buns or steamed buns? Steamed buns. Okay, what about steamed buns versus Chinese buns? Chinese buns. <laughs> okay, but when it comes to fruit filling, would you choose melon or liu mango? Oh my god. Uh, liu mango. I mean, you have to have heard the Yokohama Leomung, right? 
<laughs> Mommy, this man is weird. <laughs> well, struck out. That's fine. Uh, 0 for 3. Gotta love Damn. his enthusiasm, though. Damn it, forget Mabuchi. They won't even talk about the Leo Mung. It's just how loyal they are, I guess. Don't feel like we're gonna get to Mabuchi at this rate. Don't throw in the towel yet, man. We barely even started asking around. Hold on. Well, maybe not the results we wanted, but it looks like it was effective all the same. Yep. Sure seems like it. Seems like it worked out. The Lee among? Yeah, no doubt about it. Listen. You might want to get back. Far back. Why? What do you mean, why? This is dangerous for a woman. Hey. Oh, because I'm a woman, it's dangerous? That's how it is? No need to tear me a new one. Do what you want. <laughs> you the Japanese one sniffing around for the Leomung? What do you mean? We just wanted some authentic food. Don't fuck with me. What's your game? <sighs> no. You've got the wrong people. We have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> He's right. We just wanted to find a good spot to get some grub. Well, shall we get back on the hunt? Come on, let's just go. Eh, yeah, they aren't gonna let us leave. Might as well drop the act. Hey! Why are you snooping around for us? Tell me straight. Okay. Fine. I'm an honest guy, so I'll level with you. The owner of that soap land I was working at got killed. It sounds like your boss, Mabuchi, played a part in that. So tell me where he is. <laughs> oh my god, can you be any more direct? <laughs> no? At least it saves us the trouble of asking around, doesn't it? This again. Give me a break. So that's what you're after. Hey! That's the reaction we're getting. I'd say Mabuchi is looking more and more guilty. Yeah. Nice. Guys, is this really the time for that? Hey. I'll be quiet. I was ready for this ages ago. You gonna man up or what? Scary. Ew. Hey, call up the guy at Plum Garden. Tell him to sharpen his knives for a skinning. Once you tear their filthy skins off, use them for manju. Oh, human manju. So creative. It's the way of the Leomung to skin our victims alive. Don't worry, you black out and forget the pain pretty quick. <laughs> Hell of a threat. Now come on. Ah, dang. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, I'll, I'll just... I'll just beat some people up. See if I can hit a couple people with a reckless charge. Uh, did he move? Oh no, he didn't. He didn't move enough. Hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, essence of remotivation. Her extreme attack is uh, revive a fallen ally with kisses reserved for only the direst emergencies. Huh? Tweezing. Okay. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. How dare you cut me? Compliments their threat, then kicks their asses. Dude, Ichiban's a true champ. Hell yeah. Okay, enough. Where's Mabuchi's hideout? Talk. If you're gonna kill me, get it over with. What? 
You won't find a single Leo monk soft enough to give up our brothers because of a little pressure. <laughs> Not even if you kill us. Oh, bullshit. Yo. Cut it out. Damn, Nanba. Fucking laid him out. Man, not a single one talked. Talk about being faithful. The Yakuza could learn a thing or two from them. Yeah. When people hit rock bottom, loyalty's all you got left sometimes. Hey. Yes, it's all very impressive, but how are we going to find Mabuchi now? Hmm. They don't even come out in public and won't talk when we do catch them. Huh. Too bad there's not some scrubby Leo Mung who's not really feeling the gangster thing who'd betray him at the drop of a hat. Oh. I can think of one. Really? There is one scrubby Leo Mung who's not into it. Remember? That guy who tried to shake us down. Oh, Zhang. That's right. He's a Leo Mung too. Who's Zhang? F friend of yours? Just this asshole who collected protection money from us back at the homeless camp. He's greedy as hell. A little cash should probably go a long way. So where do we find this Zhang guy? I wish I could tell you, but... Oh my god. What luck! There he is! Oh. There he is! That shiny scalped loser. That's him, alright. Never thought I'd find him this quickly. I've still got it. It was a coincidence, man. Come on, can't you let me have even one thing? Listen. Shang, huh? I don't know, he looked pretty into the job. Don't judge a book by his cover. The bigger they're acting, the less they're packing. What? Whoa, you can tell that just from looking at him from behind? More or less. But why are you getting all flustered? Yo. Uh, let's just go talk to him. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, our best... Need more bird crap on it. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta bird up Shang, dude. Oh my god. Alright. I better equip you. Uh, lead bag with spikes. Hell yeah. I think that's probably the best I got. Yep. The one that ups decks, but that doesn't really matter. Um, Dragon Helm might as well. I did think there was a better one. It might be Pink Ribbon. Uh, Pink Ribbon's... Pink Ribbon's pretty good if I switch her to Idol. But I can't do that yet. So... Dragon stuff it is. Yeah... Dragon stuff. Okay. Um, boost job XP. And, uh, I'll just take Brawler God Mouth Guard. That works. All right. Did anyone refer you to us? Nah, we were just passing by. Thought the place looked good. I'm sorry, but this bar is members only. What the hell? We need a referral from one of our existing customers, or from a hostess. Really? This place doesn't look anywhere near fancy enough for all that. Regardless of how it looks, you still need a membership to enter. So I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Can you just sign us up for the membership? I'm not able to do that either. And may I ask, are you with the police? What makes you think that? 
I've been in this job long enough to know a cop when I see one. Is our establishment under suspicion of anything? Dude, what? guy's got some trust issues. Hiring illegal immigrants? Was that what you're worried about? Rest easy. We're not with police or immigration. I hope not. But even if you aren't, rules are still rules. I can't make any exceptions. I really must ask you to leave. Wait, didn't you say a hostess can give a referral? That's correct. Do you know someone who works here? No, but how about this? I will work as a hostess here starting right now. And I'll give my referral to these three. How about that? Cool. Huh? How damn. Throwing it around, dude. We're a Chinese pub, so our hostesses must either be Chinese or of Chinese descent. Well, I was born in Japan, but my parents are Chinese. Whoo. So rest assured, I am very much of Chinese descent, my new fellow co-worker. My sure God. True. She just keeps uh, getting them. a bit above your pay grade? And you're accusing me of lying? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Man. Now let me talk to the manager, please. I need to tell him how you turned away a fantastic hostess and even worse dismissed her heritage wait i, I get it okay let me go talk to the manager oh my god you still have to pass an interview to be hired on a trial basis of course i'm ready when the manager is are you sure about going in alone like this it's the enemy's home base you never know what could happen you guys have already been risking your lives I'm ready to join the club. And don't worry, I can take care of myself. Yeah, right. I would fucking think Be so. Careful, will ya? I will. I've dealt with a lot of trouble in my years of hostessing. I'll call you once I'm in. Is this really gonna work? Well, let's have a little faith in Sachan. Well, kasuka has got a point. Let's just wait for her to get in touch. Hey. Psycho left the party. We might end up having to fight Zhang, so let's be ready for that. Good point. Our weapons are all just things we picked up off the street. I don't like our odds here. You got anything better? We were broke and unemployed until a few days ago. I'd get new shit for everyone if it didn't cost so much damn money. Oh, actually, I remember hearing about a factory in the red light district with an engineer who's got an eye for that. If we asked him, maybe he'd make us some better stuff. Okay. That's probably cheaper than just buying new stuff. Hey. Cool. Let's check out this factory while we wait for Psycho, then. Okay, well, we gotta go to Romance Workshop. Hit the taxi. Because there's a cab that drops me off right next to it. Dude, my girl Psycho's fire. We're going right in, getting a job on the fucking spot. So that we can skirt the line skirt the rules. Give me that. Technique booster, good stuff. There's some shepherd's purse here. Shepherd's purse? Huh? It's a weed. It's pretty good when you boil it up and put it into our broth. You can get fish mint, vetch, and mugwort from this part of town, too. Wow, you know your weeds, huh, Namba? Well, I didn't learn it overnight. Nearly killed myself a couple times. Oh, my God. But still, I got better at telling which was which over time. Now I've got a pretty good idea of things. The more dangerous they look, the better the taste. Oh, my you know, God. The first guy to eat sea urchin must have been a little something like you. That's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> Hell, yeah. All right, going to take a short break. Um, when we come back, we'll hit Romance Workshop. Stop, stop, stop trying to play a video. All right. Um, no, stop. SoundCloud, I don't want to do all that garbage. Uh, let's see.
Uh, I don't know what song to play because I don't know. I'm playing Paradise. Oh, right. The be right back screen. Here we go. All right, we are back. Back at it again, baby. Woo! Um, also, uh, a quick thing for my gamers out there. Fucking uh, Pal World's coming out pretty soon. And it? Reviews are starting to come out. It's looking like uh, I'm a touch worried about it. Is the same people who did Craftopia. Here? Hey, excuse me. You need something? Whoa! I'm talking to you. Uh, no way, gal. You gal of the gamer. The 
work here? Yep. I'm Sumire Sawa. I run this place, if you can believe that. You're the manager? What? Having second thoughts because the manager's a girl? No, not really. So, this what you want fixed? This bat? I've already kind of fixed it, but it's fine. It's pretty rusty too. Yeah, it's something I picked up. Still, it's special to me. <gasps> Hold on. This bat. Is this from the hero series? Huh? The hell's that? It's a really, really rare bat that was only in production for a limited time thanks to the manufacturer going bankrupt. I can't believe I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Please let me fix it. Just this once. I promise I'll make it special. I'll even do it for free. Whoa, really? Yeah. Fixing up something as rare as this would be a dream come true. I'd be honored. <laughs> hey, thanks. I don't... I'll get to work right away. I don't think you can fix it up anymore. Um... <laughs> Holy shit, let's do this! <laughs> This reminds me of the weird shit from like Let It Die and uh and like Grasshopper games and stuff. It's a really really grasshopper games. I used to be a bit of a punk, vibe. So I tend to get pretty riled up about stuff. Anyway, here. Thanks for waiting. Yo, that thing looks like it's brand new. <laughs> and that's not all. To make sure it won't get all dinged up in the future. I added a special coating. That little beauty should be harder and more durable than ever. Thanks. I'll put it to good use. You sure are talented, you know that? <laughs> well, I definitely know how to fix things. Management's a different story, though. Yeah, now that you mention it, this place is pretty empty. You keep your upgrades to Romance Workshop. That's why it looks uh, so empty. <laughs> get things fixed anymore and as much as my dad tried to keep this place going he wasn't very good at it he wasn't good with money and got in a lot of debt had to sell most of our machinery to pay it off so pretty much all that's left is the stuff no one would buy that limited what jobs we could take and as a result we kept losing more and more business that's rough if I'm remembering right, this took like millions and millions of fucking yen. who opened this place was a really skilled technician. He's been a constant inspiration to me, even long after he passed away. This place is all I have left of him, and I don't want to lose it. My dad may have thrown in the towel, but that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. I think I might be at my limit, though. I guess we're just in a time where we're not needed anymore. Me or this shop. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. But look at it this way. You've been doing the best you possibly can. And maybe you're at rock bottom right now, but that doesn't mean you won't make it out eventually, right? Huh? Yeah, I mean, maybe it ain't all that convincing coming from a guy who just barely got out of being homeless. But at the very least, I plan to keep coming back here to have you work on shit for me. Don't forget that, all right? You've got a lot of spirit. Don't see that too much anymore. What's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. All right, Kasuga-san. If you really mean that, then you're welcome anytime. Whether it's a bat or something else, I'll make it better than new. But this time's the only free one, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you, Sumire-chan. Yeah, crafting upgrade stuff. Um. I think she's one, <laughs> being in Romance Workshop, I think she's one of the characters you can actually romance in this game, although I haven't fiddled around with that a lot. Oh, oh got a phone call, okay. Psycho, you, you, you got a job? I aced the interview. About to start serving customers so you guys can swing by when you're ready. I'll make sure you get in if you name drop me. Got it. Okay. Uh, 
All right, got a little in hostess bar. Let's go. Yeah, I've heard that um, the creature's AI could use some improving, uh, which, you know, that's uh, kind of a big deal. Um, but that there's a pretty compelling gameplay loop for people who like creature catchers and survival stuff, um, putting them together. Uh, does does some scratches some kind of itch, but that's just what I've heard. Welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. I like that one. <laughs> Whoa, you're a pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Single girl as sexy as hell. I mean, oh I, I, I had God. no idea a place like this was on restaurant row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Oh dang. I don't see Zhang's bald head out here, so... Funny how she's so, so popular bad sign. already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese <laughs> nobody here believes that sweetie well does that mean she's not getting hired oh dear oh she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room but why if she's not Chinese because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room <laughs> that's where the owner's friends hang out they get to have whatever type of fun they want in there and a lot of that fun is pretty gross these friends are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. Shit. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Oh, bald guy, huh? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah. You seen him? Oh He's God. The absolute worst. Oh. None of us want to deal with him, so they gave him to Sayako. Oh my God. I feel bad for her. Well, we 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 gotta go. Wait, you saying Psycho's with them right now? Get it out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert. <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sunshot, you okay? This nasty chew ball head tried to lick my armpit. Whoa, that's a new one. Okay. Something I don't like is a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? Deal with creeps that often. Oh, she. What the fuck are you all doing here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsung. Come for that money I took from you. You can keep that. Cartman's bag, dude. We want you to say some beans concerning the Yokohama Liu Mong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liu Mong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot. I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. What? You wanna fight? <laughs> Not if you tell me what yeah. you need to know. Honestly. Oh, well, it's a different story. Uh, so you wanna go another round? Right here? No. No, I don't. But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for. They'll have my head on a stick. They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Uh, that's a great way of putting it. 
Wish I would have worded it like that. <laughs> Shit. How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met. Come on, brothers. These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar. Kill them where they stand. Throw their bodies into the bay so the fish can eat them. Yes, yes sir. sir. There's no fish in the bay. Oh, he's on the defensive, huh? Ah, right. uh, they're all just one enemies. Oh, enemy area. Let's see what this does. Ah, sick. Okay. Good lord. <laughs> I love picking up stuff. And now, time for more pigeons in the cabaret club. <laughs> oh man, good times, good times, dude. Don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you. You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will you? I'm not an asshole. Could have fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. <laughs> Rat and dead, doing delicious. Here. I want to tell him how the honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would Mabuchi san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Clan turf. Must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? No, I don't speak a lick of Chinese. <laughs> what? Liomon. The Yokohama Liomon was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then, everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are Ni Hao and JJ. Hello and thank you. Well, you're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Man. It reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brothers stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Liu Meng. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. My God, dude. Smart. So he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hit, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. <laughs> we just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <laughs> well, nothing we can do now. Yeah. Because you've been scrammed, Jay. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. 
That's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and off. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. Hell yeah. <sighs> Ichiban ain't no yeah. snitch, dude. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san, but I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot, so they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shun. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month. Never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? <laughs> shit up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! <laughs> hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But James said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. Even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liuma guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san and Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously. I'm See, that hell of work, guys, a fucking Chad. Just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. I'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? <sighs> I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. Thanks for not being a prick. Yeah. Oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. <laughs> okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> well, good enough, I guess. That's, that's, that's good gonna have to work oh god hey oh we can't go home oh okay no. slip through somehow if we make the romance street they'll have to be more careful about starting Gosh. trouble got it let's go Romance Street it is. We gotta move.
I think because I have those things, it turns off all the possible um, encounters that I would have had there. Because they're supposed to be blocking off the streets, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I also have those on to try and, you know, speed this up extra. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home with Dachi Sock. This is really nice to see. What is? Have you all seen thick as thieves already? Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. This is just how guys are, such huh? Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. Get something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking. Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty. Uh, oh God. But if you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy. You know that. Me. Never mind. Thank you. I don't know if that was a yes or not. I, I don't. I didn't quite figure that out. Uh. Oh, I guess it was a yes. Wait, is this? <laughs> yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. Didn't even know there were places like this in Ijin Cho. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet talked a girl into coming here. Who's the lucky lady? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I, I, it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... Well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. Man. Ugh. Can't believe she said yes to <laughs> Even after seeing the place. Oh, gosh. Well, Dodge got too drunk. So did Nanba. What's wrong, guys? We're off to hell of work, so look alive. Damn, Sachan, you feel totally fine after drinking all that? Really? It was practically a nightcap. For real? Seriously? Wow, you guys are pathetic. Who's the one saying he'd give it his best shot? Hey, yeah. So get it in gear. <laughs> We're heading to LO work. Sh sure. I've never <sighs> met a woman who holds her liquor like she can. Quite a compliment coming from you. Taxi time, baby! Off to hello work. Let's go. Hmm. 
Time to get new jobs at a warehouse. And I'm picking up the scraps. 100 yen, hell yeah. Hmm. Yokohama Trading Company. I'd heard they were in the market for part-timers lately. Really? Apparently their shipments from China are picking up and they need more dock workers to unload them. But it's perfect timing. Could you get us a sign there? That'd be easy enough, but... I've heard some not-so-great rumors about the Yokohama Trading Company. What? Like what? They mainly import expensive ingredients, like shark fin and abalone. It's all first-class stuff. Every Chinese restaurant in Japan is trying to buy from them because they sell them well below market prices. Okay. We've heard the same. You'd think they'd be selling in large quant quantities for small profits. Which would mean they might even lose money sometimes, yet they seem to be expanding quickly. What do the rumors have to say about that? Mm. The most common one is that it's some kind of fraud, like maybe the ingredients aren't first class after all. But then they change the labels to make them look higher grade. Otherwise there'd be no explanation for how they could be profitable. I know it's just rumors, but are you sure you want to work at a place like that? <laughs> Hell yeah, Kanbei-san. That's actually just the info we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're gonna get jobs at this trading company and find evidence that they're frauds. Hmm, so this is another undercover investigation. Hmm. Don't you think this is pretty risky? Yeah. We know it is. But if we get cold, hard proof, Mabuchi will have no choice but to meet with us. Mabuchi? The owner of the Yokohama Trading Company. I see. So your goal here is just to meet him? That only makes me worry more. Do you know Mabuchi, Kamei-san? Mm. You stay here long enough, you eventually learn the name learn the name of a crime lord or two. <laughs> but I imagine you know that. So does that have something to do with no Nonomiya-san? I won't say too much, but I will say I still feel like an employee of Orohime Land. And Nonomiya-san treated us well. I want to know why he died. I see. I can understand that. But please, be careful. Not even the police can get close to Mabuchi and his gang of ruffians. One wrong move and your life may be in danger. Yes. It's okay. Survival is our first priority on the job. So, do you think you can get us those jobs? You're not exactly the type to change his mind once you make it up, are you? We'll be fine. We've got another new ally, after all. So the young lady is with you. A pleasure. <laughs> Your party's getting pretty unique. In that case, let me get in touch with the client. It'll take me a few. But while you're looking, why not do some contract work? What do you mean? Well, with Otohime Land out of commission, you're back to being unemployed, right? And you only want this warehouse gig to get info. You're playing the long game, but you still need to have income. True been so much going down, I forgot we're basically broke again. Well, now that you have some experience under your belts, I should be able to find some work for you. Why don't you speak with Ririko over there about it? She takes a while to warm up to people, but her work is impeccable. Got it. I'll talk to her then. Thanks. Hell yeah, dude. Kambe? Kambe knows what's up. Excuse me. My name is Kasuga. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? <laughs> Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime Land is shut down? It is kind of weird that yeah, she's uh, right next to Psycho, so and I'm pretty sure they have the same voice actor. Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. Changing jobs! Each character is suited for different jobs, so choose ones that work well for each party member. They become available as you progress. Uh, you wear a uniform associated with that job. You can freely select the uniforms available. I will be able to place you in more jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. Your options are a bit limited right now, but you'll find many more jobs are available. The job system is so good in this. Uh, I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. Of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs. Yeah. 
And I have to do this because I have all these say inexperienced and I have to unlock them all. Uh, yes, Ichiban absolutely does have a rapper job. There's a lot of really good jobs here. So, uh, let's go through Ichiban's because there's different jobs for uh, male and female characters. Uh, he's got Freelancer and Hero. He's the only one in the party who has two um, base jobs or like uh, normal jobs. Um, he starts with these two. Uh, and those are both exclusive to him. No one else can be freelancer and no one else can be hero. Uh, bodyguard has a katana and uses slash attacks. Um, and, uh, and, and they, they hurt you and the enemy a lot. Um, host learns a lot of, uh, some support stuff and some, like, area damage things. A couple of, um, a couple of debuffs and buffs and stuff like that. Uh, can also snatch stuff from people. Uh, breaker is breakdancing. Is <laughs> actual breakdancing. I actually really like to wear um, the... Where is it? Not Yeah, Daigo Dojima. That, that outfit on the breakdancer is so fucking funny. It's great. These are a lot from uh, other Yakuza games. Um... Oh, and then there's also full armor <laughs> and a bleached Japan outfit. Um, Devil Rocker, this was one of the like DLC jobs. Um, it actually does a lot of like full full group attacks. Um, some other good stuff. I actually like Nanba as Devil Rocker because uh, they use quite a bit of magic. Uh, Foreman. Foreman's a lot of big hammer swings, stuff like that. Musician. Musician has a lot of buffs. They're, they're the bard. A lot of buffs, a lot of heals. Um, and music that can damage everyone. Chef. Uh, some heals. Burn attacks. Uh, pretty balanced overall. Enforcer can fucking riot shield just wherever. Um... Lots of tanking, uh, lots of knocking people over. Fortune Teller is another one that's got a lot of uh, a lot of buffs and um, and a little bit of heals. I think it can also revive party members. But uh, I think for Kasuga, I actually, I'm just gonna keep him on. Oh wow! I don't know. I had that. Sick. Um, I'm just gonna keep him in uh, the full suit of armor. Uh, that, that'll work out. Nanba... All, all of them have the same, um, jobs. Um... At least if they're male or female. I'm actually going to do musician for Nanba. I like that outfit. Wow. Yeah, I'll do musician B. Um... Koichi, I think I'm probably going to give him Enforcer. Uh, Enforcer works well for him. Um, I actually really like the Makoto Date outfit for him. Um, especially for the Enforcer job. Got a big trench coat and stuff. Looks good. Looks good. Psycho, she gets different jobs. By the way, a lot of these jobs are unavailable to me because it, uh, New Game Plus changes your bond level back to zero. Um, so she can't be matriarch, knight, queen, or dealer. She has a few less jobs because there's less female characters in this game. But she can be barmaid, which is her exclusive job. Hostess um, kind of works like host for the guys. Uh, but... Um, a lot of the female jobs can charm enemies, especially Idol, and Idol's probably one of my favorites. She gets some different outfits too. She can do the Chinese pub one, funeral suit. I always do this one. Uh, Haruka's outfit from um, some of the older Yakuza games, or, or one of the older Yakuza games. That just looks good. Yeah, her Idol's rank 43. I. I think I think I like to use idle. 
Um, but Matriarch has a lot of gun skills, a lot of bladed skills. Um, so there's a lot of bullet and blade stuff uh, on Matriarch. Uh, it's a heavy damage class for um, her being that most of these other ones are, well, <laughs> are more focused on debuffs and stuff. The Night Queen. <laughs> oh, and also Dealer with a lot of like random effects and stuff. Um, there's a couple of items you can equip to actually give better chances to get good effects on a lot of Dealer skills. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think, uh, I think this is the party I'm going with. I really like his hero stuff. Uh, do I? I might do Breaker. Just, just for a bit. Let's, let's, let's play Breakdancer. I've been hero for a while. Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch. And you can always resume your previous job, too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember. She that. had to handle a lot of paperwork for all this. Okay. Job switching I instantly. I job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about. They called us to say you were hired. Damn, that was fast. Yes. They'd like to start you straight away. But right now, even. The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Ririka-chan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. Ririka-chan? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. He's just a friendly guy. We're making good progress. You've learned the demolish ability. This is from the foreman, uh, so I can break down those, like, boarded up walls. Uh, yeah, for real. My god. If it was that easy, that'd be pretty great. The reason why I switched to all the jobs is because, uh, as you level up your jobs, um, you can see the ranks, you actually get, like, Bonus plus five attack, plus five agility, all kinds of different skills and stuff. Um, and for each one that you have, like, available to you, um, you get a bunch of different bonuses that stay uh, pretty much no matter what. Um, wow. Essence of roadside weapon. Damn, I don't have that. Freelancer's hard because you can't equip a weapon. Um... I have some trouble with that. Is bead anklet my best anklet? I guess it is. Well then. Did it auto equip all my best stuff? I think it did. Violence guitar. Yes. Oh, I love that riot shield actually. That one's, that that is sick. I've really wanted to like the golden shield. Wait a minute. I think I actually like Bastard Soda better, because it gives ice damage, and they're the same damage as the Revival. How do I have so many of these? Alright. Let's go. We, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta move. Shit. I got super distracted by the job. Listen, I really like the job system. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see all the jobs in the new one. Um, it's going to be set in Hawaii, so uh, so all kinds of different things are probably going to open up. I, I've seen a few of the um, the exclusive jobs in it, and they already look great. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see what they do with that and how how the characters work and interact and all that stuff. It's going to be a good time. Let's get a train ticket. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, Bastard Soda looks still. <laughs> I have no idea why it's called Bastard Soda, but, you know. <laughs> uh, 
All right, working in a warehouse. Come on, get in line. Move it. What is it? All right, boys, warm up. Boy, they don't give a fuck about their workers, man. Dachi's a fucking champion. Look at the way he walks. Yeah. Yeah, actually. This is nothing. Well, don't go so hard you run out of gas like Nama did. Oh my god. Nama, you weak son of a bitch. <laughs> He's just being Why does Saiko get the desk job? I can do math too. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. He just needs to scatter some breadcrumbs. Hey, why don't we see what's inside? I know he's got boxes. it in his pockets. Just imagine all the fucking pigeons swarming the boxes and eating all the ingredients. The expensive kind? Or the crappy ones? How would I know? <laughs> all, the, all the crappy shark fins. Yeah, I don't think shark fins get this quite crappy, never really. Had it's expensive. Never had it myself. It's a lot of paper, dude. Paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Well, Japanese cooking uses washi paper to steam things, so maybe China has something similar. Hey! What are you doing over there? Sorry, we'll get back to work. So listen. After the freight's unloaded, a sales rep from the tanker will bring the invoice. A sales rep? From the company that sold us the product. It'll be your job to process the invoice and get them paid. Here we are. This is the invoice. Uh, hold on. I never said I could read Chinese. It doesn't matter. You can read the total, can't you? The money's in the safe. It's self-explanatory. He didn't even have to count. My God. That was... How much was that in yen? About eight million. Holy oh, shit. That's how we get such good deals on products. We pay in a single lump sum, cash, in yuan. The seller gets all their money right away and avoids paperwork. That's why these mainlanders are willing to sell to us at a much lower price than usual. Cash is king. And just in case it crossed your mind, 
Don't even think of skimming any cash. We keep our eyes open in this warehouse. If you pull anything funny, you'll be sorry you ever set foot here. Sir, I wouldn't dream of stealing. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't steal anything here. I'm exhausted. We gotta do this every day? We just need to hold out until we can get proof of the fraud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey. Took you a while. They did a full body search before I was allowed to leave. I even had to show an employee inside my underwear to prove I wasn't stealing cash. Seriously? Seriously? Some guy's job is to see your underwear every day? Not my fucking face! Uh, it was a woman, moron! Obviously! Still, the loss prevention is no joke. Guess working with the money's got its own set of problems. It doesn't feel great, I'll tell you that. You guys have it easy. Huh? What? That's nothing compared to what we're going through. Well, you're sure sweaty enough, huh? Especially you. Gross. What do you want from me? Why do you always gotta pick on me? Yo. Cut it out, you goobers. Let's just go home and swap notes. <laughs> okay. I think I generally understand the cash flow now. Nice. That's one step forward. <laughs> it's no big deal. Now let's get moving. You guys need baths ASAP. And you're going first. <sighs> You harpy. Come on, enough fighting. <laughs> they are all goofy goobers, absolutely. Pulled something hilarious, what? I was so happy when the translation team decided to add in Kasuga saying goobers. <laughs> Oh, to Hime Land? Why? What am I gonna do over there? Oh well. Save. It's the wise thing to do. What the hell? What the hell's game is this? Hold up. Oh, this is just the cabaret club. There. Oh, damn it. It's this way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Back on track. Back on track. Why am I? I'm back into Otohime Land. Shit. I thought this fucking lube was shampoo. Oh, we needed a bath, right? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> Crap, are you you're already out of the bath? Sorry. Kasuga, relax. I know what a naked man looks like. Uh, cool. Then, uh, uh where's Adachi-san and Namba? Probably still washing up. Anyway, I was looking into today's price list. Those ingredients that came in were purchased at some pretty hefty prices. Like what you'd expect for high class stuff. Must be primo then. Guess they aren't lying to the restaurants about the quality. Nope. Get to see his hot back tat and his I mean, cool gunshot wound. A discount for paying in cash, but they're doing everything above board, as far as I can tell. Damn. The only weird thing is how much they're reselling the ingredients. What's weird? Like, take the shark fins. They buy 100 grams for 10,000 yen. How much would you sell them to a restaurant for? Uh, to make a decent profit on them... 20,000? Well, the Yokohama Trading Company sells them for just 10,000. What? Wait, wait, they buy it for 10,000 yen, then sell it for 10,000 yen? That doesn't make any sense. How are they turning a profit? Right? Unless it's volunteer work or something, I don't get it. How are they even uh. staying open? Don't they at least need to cover their overhead? Not only have they stayed open, their profits have gone up over the years. For the life Damn. of me, I can't figure out how. 
I wish I could look at their ledger and not just their invoices. What would that tell you? I don't know. But I think I'd find signs of tax evasion. Yeah, don't do anything that would give yourself away. This is the Yokohama Liumon, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. But you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies. Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. <laughs> uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true anyway. Well, thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. Yeah. What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Well, hey, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure. On whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, Ugh. man. We gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. They're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Dutchy <laughs> son turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. Feral. Hell yeah, dude. Super beer. Well, I guess he convinced him. Oh my god, we're all gonna be late to work. Oh shoot. That's right, Otohemia Land being shut down means. Means Bleach Japan's gonna be able to shut down more soap lands. Ah, oh, crud. The place is already shut down. Hello, Zach. Our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory. The first bricks of the gray zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away. But we must not be complacent. We must press on until all the gray zones have been purified. Yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? The shop is closed. This building should be vacant. That's yeah! right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff. Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there will be hell to pay. Oh, get him, Kasuga. Fuck yeah. Bunch of nerds. Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors. He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people. He's obviously living in the past. Hurry, let's close up before they start in on us, too. Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! The friggin' heck! Like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! Now, get out of our town and don't ever come back. I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing. You just say, Oh no, what was his name? No, no, Mia. The 
just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope. This guy's a psychopath, dude. I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. <coughs> Hell yeah. Get slapped, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Whoo! That won't work, Sachan. Why not? Too late now, you little tart! You assaulted me! You all saw it! Someone call the police! Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like Whoo! <laughs> Seriously, you brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? <laughs> they were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right, boss? Of course. You saw it. They attacked us first. A little tart. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, everyone. This is our moment. Bleach the gray. <laughs> In case you guys were, you know, unaware, obviously, the BJ shirt is just amazing. Alright, let's fucking windmill, baby, let's do it! Damn, I suck with the Y timing. Yeah. You're in it now. Watch this. Show off some of the new skills from this. <laughs> oh, we got more coming in. Gonna bleach your ass, dude. Oh, I always keep reckless charge. That's really good. Oh, we got a riot on our hands, guys. I think it's the perfect time to call in this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Just seeing his face <laughs> as he looks up at the fucking strike team with the with the electro bazooka pointed at him. Oh god. Someone call the police. Tell them we're being attacked by thugs. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Bro, no one's gonna call the police for you here. Go away! 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 This isn't over! Go away! The memory of today will only strengthen our resolve! We're done playing around! Serves you right! Don't come back! This is our town! Good job, everyone! So inspiring to see you fight evil! Yeah, remember this day with pride! <laughs> they got what was coming, Lord. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides. What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. Man, that felt good. After all this time, we got...
got to actually do something. I mean, you guys didn't get to actually do something. I wish those useless bums in the center you clan could have seen that. Oh, come on. They ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's going to protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't going to help. I agree. These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu. Okay, man, maybe, maybe, maybe we, maybe we all just ca calm down a little bit. Uh, calm down a little bit, guys. G just chill out. We've already kind of brought dishonor on the Seiryu clan once. I, I, I didn't mean to do it again. Uh, that's not. Hmm. Hmm. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't the way it was supposed to go. <laughs> Man, that was nice. Feels like forever since I got a compliment. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, Nonamiya-san. Hmm? What's her deal? Oh, I have to talk to her. This... This could take some time. Okay, well, gotta get through it, gotta get through it. Let's, let's fucking do it. No, no, Mia san, it's me, Erika Mataki. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no, I'm not here for an interview. And you are? No, I'm Casca. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see... Uh, a little uh, he's, he's not no. quite... No, uh, what? In isn't the... Well, hmm, in isn't so. the right word. He died. What? Uh, he's... I don't... He can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh. Oh dear. Hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! You all right? Yeah, the essence of attacks are so fucking fun and stupid in this game. It's so good. It's so good. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I have been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, What's your name? I already said it. I'm Ari. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. My confections? Damn, Ari -chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice. My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. It actually means number one, but it's okay. Ah, Senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well, Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman. Regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing uh, else. Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijincho. Until. Until. Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur. So managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, 
I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. Dang. The only thing left is the Sunday shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the Sendai shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's Nonomiya being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those exploiter, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. Oh, he did? Yeah, he actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. The uh, what? One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff. So, I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. No, no, Mia-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on a struggling senbei shop. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nanomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey, now. Is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. You know Kasuga can't let that stand, dude. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. What was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself.
got you. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> you don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too. But this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's going to pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just... Think of this as paying him back. <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> Ichan. Nickname. Back, huh? <laughs> Figured you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. <laughs> if anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, it's you. <laughs> I believe in you, Ichan. <laughs> yeah, but what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Huh? Look, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, or whatever. Totally ditched. Everyone else is like, nah, I'm out, dude. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari John. Likewise. Okay then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasaga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I could probably play this. I've played this so much. So much. I don't know what carries over in the New Game Plus, but I played a lot of this. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Yep, it sure is. Look at all the senbei. Have you always been here? The shop has. But the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. I can get through this quick, right? No. No, I can't. And unfortunately, this part is probably the least relevant the to office. getting ready for You'll infinite have to wealth. excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eddie John, welcome back. Is this the guy oh, you're asking me about? Yes, Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you too. You got a cute grandma. Older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Big build. Toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri Chan. <laughs> grandma? He's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga san. It's cool. Ho 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 ho. Walking on in, dude. Bacock! <laughs> Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. 
<laughs> okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing. Oh god. I know I love I love omelet, dude. I love the chicken named omelet. Fuck. This is the problem because like oh god, I really want to do this. Damn, I have to do it anyway. Yep. All right. Yep. All right then. Oh man, this is gonna be a big tutorial. It's gonna be a lot. Hopefully, I can skip most of these parts, and I'll just kind of explain it as I go because I gotta do so much stuff. Business management, basically. One of the best ways to move profit is to boost sales. Let's try running the business once to get a feel for how management works. Oh, I wish you wouldn't make me do that. I got a job to do. Open for business. We lost 370,000 yen just for opening for a day. <laughs> and how much did we make in sales? Let's see. Oh, 50,000, 60,000. Oh, the staff's winning him over. How nice. The display is drawing eyes. We're not even close to making a pro. Let's go quicker. Let's move. Come on. Wow, we made not even half of what we spent today. We lost. Oh, I keep my management funds apparently, so I have 23 billion yen in the bank. We're fucking fine. Never mind, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Rank 150. Okay. It went down to sweatshop rank. Yeah, lost 200,000 yen. That's a good day of business right there. Oh, buddy. Oh, God. I'm glad I at least keep my money. And that's about all there is to managing a business. Wow, so, that's all that's there is, it. huh? Yeah, that's that's the thing. whole tutorial. Yo, wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. Oh, yeah. Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. Yeah, and that last and thing was all there is to how? running a business. Good question. Then what the hell do we do? Where you come in. Oh, yeah. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right. Well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. Can you think I of a good investor for us? Loan? We've met him. And after Nonomiya san just were paid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Because I forgot about this guy by this, by this point in the game. Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? And that's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. That's right, baby. It's Nick Ogata, the guy who taught me how to use a smartphone. Financing. Please, man, can you help me out? Oh. Uh. <laughs> you okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Constantly impressed. Downright emotional! I love this fucking guy, dude. I'd be thrilled to invest in your Oh my god! I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? 
Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on mine. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Showing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition 2 suits you fine? Yeah. Well, what's condition 3? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. This is actually kind of good to reintroduce you to Nick Ogata. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like. Be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Just look at all this money! Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger. Uh, gee, thanks, lady. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing. Thank you, Kasuga-san. Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. All right. Five million. That doesn't even dent the 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 amount that i had previously come on we gotta go it's about time we put Nick yeah. yep to rebuild the company absolutely let's fucking do it please don't make me start the business day again for the love of fucking god yep check ichiban confections Okay, assign the employees. You guys both suck. I would literally rather have the chicken running the business than you. Um, Granny, you're handling the business. And uh, you. Yep. Time for some layoffs, baby. Get terminated, nerds. Goodbye. Can I not? Yeah, there we go. Let's just make some fucking investments, dude. I've got some hot fucking cash to blow. There we go. We're gonna make some fucking money now. That's right, dude. I can't buy any new properties, but that's fine. We're gonna make fucking three million yen on a rice cracker shop. Hit it.
Open for business, baby. Let's go. Hell yeah. I can still make it rain. Some level ups. Share price went up. And we're not in the sweatshop anymore, I think. Keep it up. Our ranking went up. Yeah, no more sweatshop for us. Excellent. actually made a profit yeah a fucking big one Amazing. we did it and all thanks to Nixon's investment yes How and the it? ghost investor what from a difference? previous life it just goes to show the importance of where you put your money right to invest in people or infrastructure there are so many ways to do this right here and now but we should also consider how the money can be used in the future money for the future I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Omelet. Every omelet scene is gold. <laughs> <laughs> and I can call Omelette and pound mates. Omelette can come fight enemies for me. Uh, just like Gary Buster Holmes. Can I? Do I have to continue? I do. I do have to continue this, don't I? Holy crap. How long do I have to keep going on this? Eri e chan? Eri? E Why can I not talk to you anymore? Are you done talking to me? I literally... There's no interact button for you anymore. Okay, well, goodbye. Okay, cool. Hell of a day. Oh, and we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. We should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. Omelet is the best pound mate, dude. I don't know, there's a couple of good ones. Is she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. <laughs> make dinner for everyone wow you can cook like a chef I'll just go buy some ingredients Nanchan come with me and carry the bag Nanchan here we go my god she sure seems happy about falling in with us but but what I wonder if it's really the best thing for her you know I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. It's funny that... that Saichan can't become a chef. Everyone else has the chef class. All the, all the men. Oh, God. Whew. You sure went hard last night, huh? It's a nice change of pace. Yeah, guess we should head to, whoop, to the up? warehouse. We gotta get to the bottom of this shady stuff quick. I can't handle much more of it.
Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. What? <laughs> Ifajahui safe up there who knows how much would be in it but then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here why did i come up short there's always the explanation that someone was just lazy if all he needed to do was go up to another safe he wouldn't have asked for half an hour good point let me get this straight when the vendor asked for payment there wasn't enough cash so then the boss got more money from somewhere in this building and that's where the box comes in remember there was a box with paper in it, next to the, uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They gotta. What? And all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. It's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabushi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. You mean money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. 
They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. There it Sounds is. like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation, so... We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. No doubt. If we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. You wish, Nanva. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries. I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. I'm glad we're getting a little bit of backstory, at least on all the, um, all of the characters, all his allies. Um, also, uh, I know, spoiler alert for the future, this, I probably won't do it in this playthrough, at least not at the moment. Uh, Eri-chan can be a party member. Um, but... Like I said, probably not going to do it in this playthrough. I think I have to do a lot more of the management stuff, um, which takes some time, uh, to say the least. Uh, <clears throat> she is the only other female character you actually get as a party member. That's why they um, have so few classes. Because you do get more party members than just four or five. Uh, but the four that are here now are the ones, uh, or at least some of the ones, who will be in, um, uh, yeah, I think I'm good on gear and healing items, uh, I think we'll be fine. Um, but they will be in, uh, in Infinite Wealth, um. As far as I know. So learning more about them. Important. Important stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, I can't hold that many. We can just stick with these two, man. Toughen the fuck up, bro. We don't have time for your bitching.
Oh shit. That's a problem. That's a problem. Immediate problem. He's got a baton. You gotten used to working here yet? Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Foreman's been talking about you nonstop. I think he might even ask you out soon. <laughs> uh <laughs> looking forward to it. Oh, but you dumb son of a bitch. Sorry. You idiots! What are you doing? Sorry. Let me get this cleaned up. Shit, where did it go? Oh, damn. Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. Uh, you saying this money just drew legs and walked over here by itself? <laughs> Fat chance. Uh, hey, these four Japanese are thieves. They're trying to steal the company's money. They almost made off with some of your pay. Are we going to let them get away with that? I say hell no. Let's tear these fuckers up and load them in boxes. Oh uh, no, thanks, Nanba. Got me fucked up, dude. Yeah, get to dancing, Kasuga. Ooh, yeah. All right. Um, I really like this one, so we're doing it. Jewel breaker. That's a problem. I don't have a lot of voltage, but like... Let's see Essence of Surprise concert. Why not? Since he got us into this mess. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, so good. Let's do shield rupture too, why not? We're doing some essence attacks. Just gonna fucking Captain America it, huh? <laughs> so good. Just one bill's all I need. Come on. Uh, one bill? What the fuck kind of thief are you? Hey! Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking run us down, oh dude. Oh, God. Run! It's gonna explode! Oh, shit. Hmm. 
that is an issue. That's gonna have to be a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Look at you acting all surprised. Oh. Huh? Look at you acting all surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never seen this before. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh dear. What's, what's happening? Where are we? Oh god. Finally awake. It's about damn time. What? Number. Why are we? What do you think you're doing? He's right. Try to save your strength. Huh? Why are you guys so damn calm about all this? You're the last one to come around, so you missed all the introductions. Sorry, man. But you'll have to fill in the gaps yourself. Uh, okay. You could join us. Huh? <sighs> Let's get started, shall we? How about we don't? Just, just hold on. No fair. Don't I get an introduction too? Shut up. <laughs> Kasuga. No. Who are you? He's Lauma. <laughs> Lauma. In other words, Mabuchi. <laughs> Glad we could clear that up. You're going to answer some questions for me now. No, no, Mia. Sorry. The owner of Orohime Land. You're the one who murdered him. Tell me why! I'll be the one asking the questions. And you're going to give me the answers I want to hear. Or I'll kill all your friends. And you can watch as they bleed out. Okay, press record. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. What are you doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. Deciding whether your friends will die. <clears throat> I know you're with the Seiryu clan. What? No, I'm not. Are you sure? That's quite the tattoo on your back. You definitely know civilian. Maybe I'm just a dumb civilian who likes body art too much. I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. Why? What would a Japanese person want with Chinese Yuan? <laughs> Trick question. It's fake. Oh? Why do you think that? Because I saw crisp new bills in the office when supposedly they were out of cash. I also saw your boxes full of blank paper, even though you do food imports. So you intended to steal a bill which you almost certainly knew was fake. Whatever did you plan to do with it? It would have been evidence of all your fraud. I was going to make you pay for killing Nonomiya, which is what you deserve. Hmm. I see. Ichiban! Come on. So you got jobs in our warehouse solely to investigate our highly successful business. And then you just happened to notice the fake money. Is that correct? <laughs> Fuck you. And no one else knows about it. Also correct? Oh, I wouldn't assume that. Answer me, or would you prefer to watch your friends die? Fine. I haven't told anyone. Good boy. Now, last question, and don't fuck with me on this one. Ask it, 
get it over with. Do you truly believe that I am the one who killed Nonomiya? Yeah, you're damn straight. <laughs> Very good. Perfect, in fact. Yeah? Why's that, asshole? I've just recorded video evidence that the Seiryu clan is sticking its nose in our affairs. You Seiryu make me sick. Nothing but traitorous scum. Hey, we said we're not Seiryu. Save your breath. We fell right into his trap. What? What are you talking about? The Ejin Three took vows never to invade each other's territory. But the Seiryu clan has broken that promise. Which means... They've declared war against the Yokohama Liumong. <laughs> Stop the camera. Hey, you're getting this shit all mixed up. I ain't in the Seiryu clan. But your performance was excellent. I can't wait to see the whole movie. Come again? Well, okay. Since you were such a good actor, I'll let you in on one thing. The fuck? The man who killed Nonomiya is me. So you did do it! Send that video to each one of our members along with the warehouse security footage. Tell them it's proof the Seiryu clan attacked us. Yes, sir. Oh. I really must thank you. Piece of shit! I was actually starting to worry that no one would water the seeds I planted. But then you showed up. And now that seed has blossomed into the most beautiful flower. What the fuck? What are you plotting? Answer me, damn it! This part's always so intense. Oh, God. Babuji's obviously trying to start a war with the Seiryu clan. He wants to upset the balance of power in Ijin Shou. Why would he want a war? I don't know. But he's about to claim that the Seiryu attacked the Leopold. Weird, that it be his proof. But why? And also, how? They're going to use that video they just shot. What fucking good is the video if we are not in the Seiryu clan? Did you hear him get the order to send the video to all Leo Mong members? That, plus that awful smile of his, and all the other weird shit he said on the video has me thinking. I don't know when he decided to do this, but he had a whole damn script for it. Bastard. He's dead serious about starting this war. The stalemate is over. Great wall of muscles. Showing some cracks, dude. Hell of a good point. None of this would have happened if Nanma hadn't thrown a bunch of fucking boxes at me. Yo. Nanma, how bad they get you? I'm fine. Got off easier than you, anyway. Hey. Anyway, we gotta figure out a way out of here. Any ideas? Why would I have a way out of this? Sachan, uh, don't be scared. This'll work itself out. Will it, though? <laughs> well, everything's worked out so far, hasn't it? I guess. Hey. Adachi-san, an old beat cop like you totally has a clever plan, right? Any ex-cop ideas? Yeah. Totally. Seriously? Really? I knew an ex-cop would have something. So, what's the plan? First, we gotta get these chains off. Great. How do we do that? If I knew, I'd have done it already. <sighs> You're kidding me. Look around cautiously. Let's see. Do I see anything? Uh, there's some hooks that I can't reach. Hey. Hey, what's this room for, anyway? Where even are we? They took us here by car after the warehouse exploded. They blindfolded us, so who knows where we are. Mabuchi's got a few hideouts in Ijin Show. Probably one of those. <clears throat> Damn, it's freezing in here. I'm gonna catch a cold. Don't worry. Idiots don't catch colds. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 
Wait, where's my clothes? Hey. You see those cardboard boxes over there? Yeah. They're in there. Along with everything else we had. Hmm? Huh? I had my phone in my coat, though. That means... It's not just you. All of our phones and wallets are in there. If we just get one of them over here, we could call for help. We already figured that out. But everything hinges on getting these chains off. We've tried, but they aren't budging. Hey. What about yours, Ichiban? Maybe they're weaker than ours. Break the chain by force. Alright, time to give it a try. Good luck, Ichiban. Yeah. Come on, don't hold back. Give it all you've got. Yeah. They'll kill us if we don't escape. Our lives depend on it. Ichiban, you could do it. Hold on. Hold your horses. They're not budging. Don't put this all on me anyway. Guess we're screwed. Yep, we're probably gonna die in here. That's fine. Do you think anyone's coming back? I mean, they wouldn't just leave us here to die, would they? That would be a pretty economic way to torture people. Sons of bitches. Shh. I hear footsteps. What do you want? Oh, it's the fucking guy. Hey. I remember these huh. guys. Yeah. Wait a minute. The warehouse. the warehouse is total thanks to you fucks. Everything is gone. And it's time for you to pay. Well, it was you guys who blew up the truck, not us. <laughs> Luckily, Lao Ma gave us permission to make examples out of you. Examples? Yeah, we're gonna slice you up and set the body parts to the Seiryu clan. Lauma also said he can take our sweet time killing you. He knows how to keep his men motivated. I'm glad mm. to hear you like your boss. That's rare. Ha! Ah, not scared, huh? You must have had some lucky breaks in the past. But there's none coming now. I'm about to show you what hell itself is like. <laughs> Did that hurt? Scared now. <laughs> I love it when they make that face. Come on, make it again. Stop it, you freak! Oh, patience, lady. I'm saving you for later. That part's gonna be real fun. <laughs> You're disgusting. Keep it in your pants unless you want to lose it. <laughs> I like how feisty she is. But let's start with a nice appetizer. The old man. Yeah. Don't do this! Oh. He was the one on the park bench who watched the explosion. He had the white hair and the black coat. Smoking a cigarette. Kind of funny how the tables have turned, wouldn't you say? You know, my luck's been really turning around. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Who the hell was that guy? No idea. But I think I'll buy him dinner if I ever see him again. <laughs> oh, right. My bad. All right. I got this. <sighs> yeah. Get him, Ishiban. Please don't lose. <laughs> Let's go. You shit 
ribbed asshole. God. You shit ribbed asshole. You're fucking dead. My god. Don't fuck with Ichi. That's right. He plays Dragon Quest. Why do. Wow. Wow, dude. What the fuck? I forgot. You get skills from each one that, uh. That actually, you know. Can transfer over. Oh, good miss. Let's do Atlas Hold. I like Atlas Hold. Sick. And then, uh. Ice Spreader's a good one. <laughs> Throw a bunch of eyes on him. Yeah, certain abilities from each class transfer over to any class in the future. Just like how the stat boosts always transfer um, just to your character in general. They don't stick to that one class. That's for not calling for help, though. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing we can do. What about the guy in the black mask? He saved us, but we don't even know who he is. Hey. Any ideas, Ichiban? Not a one. Uh -huh. If he helped us, that means he's not Leomung. Think he was Saryu clan, then? Nah, that's off. They wouldn't risk everything to sneak into an enemy stronghold. Mm -hmm. He was pretty hot, though. Like a K-pop star. Really? It's the kind of look you're into? I see. That's gotta be it. What's gotta be it? If I had to guess, I'd say he's with the Gomi Jewel. Not that I'm certain. Huh? You sure about that? Yeah, why would the Gomi Jewel rescue us? Who knows? Smoke is less elusive than those guys. You guys all saw how he just casually swooped into Mabuchi's hideout to get us out. So, process of elimination says Gomi Jewel? Yeah. Just an ex-cop hunch. I think first we ought to focus on getting out of here. Right. Dungeon time! The hideout! Should I open it? Sweet! Pop it open. It's a slapjack. Like a flapjack, but less fun. More pain. I don't think I could save in here. I'm pretty sure this is an actual dungeon. I was wrong. That is true. The The difference is the female classes are better. The Matriarch is an incredible DPS class that can use blade and bullet skills, um, which are the two rarest of all the guy ones. So, like, uh, Bodyguard can use blade. Uh, most things just use blunt. And then the only thing... There's very few things that actually use bullets for the guys. Um, so her matriarch can get through a lot of bullet resistance uh, things. Hostess has some powerful debuffs. Idol can not only heal the whole team, but can also charm enemies into not attacking at all. Um, Night Queen has some of the fiercest debuffs and can also charm and do a bunch of other stuff. And Dealer's a lot of fun, but pretty random overall. Um, so the female characters don't get as high as stats, but they do get actual better jobs. Um, uh, at least in my personal opinion. And I think their jobs actually do give higher stats near the end, but I could be wrong about that. Um, of course, that's if you get them really fucking high. Uh, but yeah. Let me see here. Yeah, these ones mostly give you plus 10s near the end, but most of the female classes give plus 20s. And... A lot of these only get... Oh, no. Foreman's, 
performance is pretty huge. Oh, it's just HP and MP. Plus 20 on those isn't quite as huge a... Huge a deal. God, Fortune Teller only gives plus fives even at the very end? Good lord. Um, but yeah, it you do have more, um, but it also still means you have to train more. Like, her one super beefed up idol thing is pretty huge. But yeah, anyone, any one of the skills with a red dot means you get to keep that skill through all class changes. Um, so I also got double hatchet and stuff. And then, of course, the yellow dots you keep. Green dots are, you get to use those only for this job. But yeah, red dots are character skills. Green dots are job skills. Dang, I still don't... Oh, secret cocktail. May leave the user drunk. Solid. But it does leave, um, I will say it does kind of leave the women with less options in terms of how many character skills they can have available to them, because you only get two per job. Um, also heal burn and bleeding. Like, don't get me wrong, a lot of them are good, like Bullet of Honor is huge she can use that on any class and yeah she can use that on any class and get bullet damage which i i don't i can't think of a male class well there's got there's got to be one hold up hold up there's got to be at least one male class that has a bullet Okay, I'm starting to lose faith. Enforcer, maybe? No, no. Fortune teller, no bullets. Never mind, there is not a single male class that is not an exclusive job that uses bullet type damage. Um, that's how rare it is. And she uh, gets to use it on any class she picks. Uh, which is fucking insane. Um, and yeah, Idol gets Magical Voice, uh, Restore HP, and then Magical Song, which restores the whole party's HP. Um, Lo Love Drunk Typhoon, I use that all the time, because it lowers the defense of all enemies, and then may leave them charmed also. Um, Impish Wake is okay. But yeah... Damn, man, she gets darts airstrike with dealer? Shoot. Essence of Russian roulette. Wild. But yeah, they have um they have a lot of things that could target weaknesses that guys just can't. And also, um even their support classes are better than most support classes. Like this one gradually recovers all allies HP. Um so it's a heal over time, um, but it's not It's not just an insta-heal. And I don't even think... Oh, uh, maybe? I don't think there's a heal... Yeah. I don't think there's a heal in the guy's classes uh, that can heal everyone in the party at once. Um... So as much as they, well, okay, never mind. Yeah. So as much as like the female characters don't, uh, don't have as many classes and don't have as many options, the options they do get, um, are objectively better than most of the male classes. Uh, which is why it's usually good to at least keep one female in the party. Um, I almost always do, and I almost always have them set to idle because I need heals. Bad. Like, a lot, most of the time. Um, it's one of those, if someone goes down, then, like, 
you have to drop so much MP to revive someone, and you're better off just praying that you're going to be able to kill the enemy before things get too bad. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, we've escaped from Mabuchi ish we still have to go through this dungeon part uh but i think we've got through quite a little bit we met um mystery man who freed us uh from a very dire situation and uh and we've now had very serious run-ins with both the seriu clan and the yokohama leomong and it looks like uh gomi jewels coming up next so Catch you guys in the next one, and we'll see how far we can get in that. Uh, chapter 6, baby. And we... Yeah, that's right. We met the top tier... Um, the top tier... Mascot and... Uh, Poundmate Omelette. <laughs> Alright. Catch you later, everybody.